What's up guys? Welcome back to Volley Volley. I just want to tell you, your support's been incredible. I love it. Let's try and get, I know, this is going to be crazy, but 10 likes on the video. <laughs> We're hard workers. We have a lot of drive and initiative. So let's get 10 likes on the video. <laughs> like and subscribe, please. Um, I have some really cool content coming out. Working almost like on a theme song. If you guys have any like recommendations, that would be really cool. Um, you know, to get you guys involved because you guys have been incredible. Here we are again with another video on how to be recruited. Playing volleyball in college is an amazing experience. You get to go travel all over the country, sometimes to other countries. You make the best friends. I know you guys want to do it. I know you can do it. But before I start, I want to tell you the biggest myth to being recruited is actually Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> I promise you these details are amazing and they'll work. If they work for me, they'll work for you. How do I get recruited? I had the uh, opportunity to play not only at one college for volleyball, but two. Wow, look at this. Do you know what this means? Awesome opportunity. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I made the best friends. Let's just get straight into it. Number one thing you have to do to play in college, you have to have the passion. You have to know that it's not gonna be the most convenient, the most ideal you're gonna be playing volleyball, studying, playing volleyball, studying, volleyball, studying. It's like washing your hair, rinse and repeat. Actually, don't do that. That's not good for your hair. Only wash about once a week. Conditioner every day, though. That's how you get that nice hair like this. Have salon quality hair and read the news. Anyhow, so we want to play in college. We've decided, we have the ability, the skill, something is there, that drive, that drive. <laughs> what do you do next? You get film. You have to get film of yourself. Ask your coach to do it, go out and get a tripod, or you can, you can record everything on your phone. The phones are so good with the quality that you don't even need a true camera. You have to get film of yourself. After you get the film, you need to put it into a highlight tape. Those highlight tapes don't make it an hour long. Nobody's gonna watch it. Make it between five to 10 minutes long, depending on your position. Add music. Adding music will help the tempo of it go quicker and allow people to have greater patience, just like a movie trailer. Movie trailers always have the best music they have the most enticing voices to just hold you in for that three minute video to sell the movie. So you, right now, you make your highlight tape. Libero, you want serving and passing. Defense, try and do all the rotations if you can. You wanna show the coach that you can play that defensive position either way. The more versatile and skilled you are, the luckier or better chance you have of getting on a team. Middles, you wanna show footwork, blocking, approach, right sides, outsides, middle. Don't just show 10 foot bounces. Okay, put one or two in there, it's dope. Sure, it's real cool, obviously. But you wanna be showing how diverse your arm swing is. Can you cut it, at, cut it inside, go towards line? Can you cut out, cutty? You know, can you swing deep corner, deep corner? If you can swing deep corner consistently and your film, your highlight tape shows that, then you'll be golden. Wow, it looks great. Also blocking, you wanna show effective blocking just because you don't get the point on a block or putting up a block doesn't mean it was a bad block. There's number four, you need to reach out to coach, out to coaches. Once you have all your film cut and it looks great, you will want to send it out. And when I mean send it out, going back to number one, that passion and drive, where do you want to go to school? The biggest tip I can give you for college, pick a college that has a great combination of athletics and academics. 
Your number one thing about college should be academic. I studied physics. Wow. I got a minor in Spanish and math. But for my second college, Quincy, I actually transitioned to the master's in business administration program. So I got an MBA there. Amazing time. Once you've picked a school, and I mean one school, I mean 10 schools. You need to pick at least 10 schools and go from there. You need to assess what level you want to play at, what level you think you can play at. And if you're a really hard worker, you're a really hard worker and you're driven, go higher than you can expect. Because with you guys will never believe, especially if you don't have the best coach right now, if you get a good coach that can push you and support you, you're going to develop like crazy. So pick 10 schools, if not more, go on their websites, find the coach's email, and email them, send them the video, but be brief. Introduce yourself. When you introduce yourself to, your, to the coach, you need to say, hi, my name is Craig or so-and-so. I want to play volleyball at the next level. Tell them your leadership. Are you a captain? What are you involved in? Quick curricular stuff outside of volleyball too, if it shows leadership. Grade point average is massive. If you have anything over a 375, a lot of coaches will want you. If you want, if, if you have a GPA of 4.0 or higher, you're gonna be one of the best recruits because they can save money on you by you getting academic scholarships and then maybe a little bit of athletic. That saves money in the budget. They're gonna love you. In third, you wanna tell them your size. So height, and size isn't 100% everything. I'm really the true testament to that. I mean, I was 5'6", and I played five years in college and played at the Division One level. So it doesn't have to be that, but it is pretty enticing for them. Wow, you're so dominant. You have skills. You just have to prove it, and you can't really prove it until they see you play in person. So... Send them the highlight tape, the, the highlight tape with all your skills in there, and then your grades, your level of leadership, and then if you don't have the size, talk about your commitment and how you have a passion for the program. If you can do a, maybe one or two facts about the program to show them that you, you're that next level. All these colleges get dozens, if not hundreds of athletes who express interest in their program, but these ten these tenured coaches know what's true and what's not. So you gotta really show it that you wanna play in college. If you wanna play in college, you gotta show it. You gotta wear it on your sleeve. Ironically, I'm not wearing sleeves, but <laughs> number five. Besides sending out your footage to coaches, you wanna make sure you upload it. So upload it to YouTube once you have that YouTube channel. So then you wanna go on websites like Be Recruited, Max Preps, Huddle. Put your, you're literally just trying to get yourself out there in the event that a coach can see, a coach sees you on their own. Coaches are super busy, so you don't just wait. Like, that's the biggest myth about playing sports collegiately. It doesn't matter if it's football, volleyball, soccer, baseball, you have to reach out to coaches and tell them you're interested. Even tell them, hey, I'm playing up in a tournament near your college or university. It'd be great um, if you came and watched me play. And you give them the information. Don't make them search. Give them the, the address of the sports complex or the high school or whatever school you're playing at. If you don't get a response from them, you want to make sure you follow up. That follow up can be like, Hey, I know you didn't make it to the tournament. Is there another date that I can give you? I'm still really interested in playing for your program. Another good tactic that you can use is ask your coach to reach out to them. Coaches love to talk to other coaches. They can really get the vibe and feel the energy and get another depth of knowledge of what you've experienced in your level of play. You need to reach out to them. You need to be persistent. Don't be annoying, but you have to not give up after one or two tries. Trust me. The biggest myth to playing college volleyball is you have to recruit yourself. You have to reach out to coaches. You wow. You have to put that effort in. 
to get where you want to be. That's the whole point of life. Ding, 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 ding. But especially for playing sports in college. Wow, that's a good message. The biggest myth is thinking that some great college is going to pick you up. I've seen amazing athletes, top tier athletes, not even play in college because they're like, Oh, well, I'm going to sit here and play video games, or I'm going to just sit here and hang out with my friends. I'll get recruited, and then May comes, and by if you're not recruited by May, I mean, uh, that's obvious. I mean, you have to March, April, if not sooner. I mean, if you really are looking for schools, like say I graduated this May, I should have already been putting film together and sending it out all last fall or this fall right now, like doing it from September to November, reaching out to coaches. Obviously COVID is a whole different thing, but it, this doesn't matter about COVID. This can, you follow this no matter what. You gotta read it, reach out to coaches. You can't just rely on being 10 feet tall or the fastest person or the best setter, the best passer, you can't. Guys, playing in college is awesome. If you wanna do it, do it, but you have to get yourself recruited. You will not get handpicked. It doesn't happen. No matter the sport, especially volleyball, my bread and butter, I can tell you, you have to go out there and get recruited. Get recruited, don't be recruited, get recruited. And I'm telling you, that will allow you to increase your chances of getting on the team you want, for the athletic program that you desire, and more importantly, the academics. Please reach out to me. I would love to help you guys, um, obviously for free. I'm not trying to um, charge any money for this. Please reach out to me. I would love for you guys to experience what I did. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. How do you guys like the new icon? Very cool. Um, my graphic designer, she's amazing. More to come. Thank you guys for your support. Please like and subscribe. Share this, share this. This Right now, I'm posting this on purpose because right now is the best time to get recruited. You're important. Know your value. Get on the team you want and be proud of yourself. Promise. If you can do this, this is going to help you transition to get a job in the real world because you got to go out and get your own worth and get your job. Get your college degree. Get your team that you want. You can do it. I have faith in you.